Hey guys, Malcolm here, mobile developer at Clearblade, and welcome to my blog, Class at Creations. Today I wanted to do a video tutorial on alert boxes and how we can use them in mobile apps. And I also want to introduce a new concept, mainly the concept of overriding the comment directory with device-specific styling and functions. So we'll see how we can utilize this in Worklight to make our apps a bit more customizable. So let's jump into it and create a new Worklight project. We can just call it Alert Demo Project. Make it a hybrid application. Again, no libraries in this video. Let's call it Alert Demo App. Finish. We talked about the application descriptor file in the last video, so we won't cover that again. I do, however, want to introduce some, uh, something new. Uh, just give a preview on adapters. And basically, an adapter allows us to access back-end data services. And the adapters are written in JavaScript, so we can leverage our JavaScript skills here uh, to make our apps a bit more functional. Just a preview, so we won't, we won't be doing that today. So let's jump down in the HTML file of our app. And let's uh, write an alert. Now, alerts uh, in the mobile app world aren't any different from alerts uh, in a regular web page, so nothing special, but we'll see how Worklight uh, will utilize this to make it look a bit different on each device. So let's go ahead and create a new div, and we'll just call it uh, greeting. Reading. Uh, let's give it a header uh, that we can style later. So let's just call it Clear Blade Rocks. And since we did a button last time, I also want to add a button. That way we could we can call our alert. So let's go ahead and create a button. And let's set the value uh, to greet. And then we're gonna, on the click, we're going to call a function that we'll create in a minute called uh, greet user. Fair enough, right? OK. So what we did, we just created a new div. Um, created a header of Clearblade Rocks, and we created a button that will call our, <coughs> our function greet user, which we'll create now. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's jump over to the JavaScript file and create our new uh, greet user function. Let's create a little, let's delete some of this junk uh, so that we'll just see the stuff that we're creating. So we'll create our function greet user. And all we want this function to do is to alert the user. Um, uh, let's, let's do hola mundo. Just to be different this time. We won't do hello world. So it'll just alert the user. Uh, basically hello world in Spanish. So simple enough. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and build our project. Oh, before we build a project, let's let's add the iPhone. Um, let's add the iPhone and Android environments. All right. So we've added the iPhone and Android environments. Now, so notice that we get these two separate projects, the Android and the iPhone project, which have the native code. And then they have kind of their own little JavaScript and CSS files. Now, note that anything we edit in here is going to override anything that's in the common directory. So this can be very powerful because we can make our Android app look a bit different from our iPhone app. 
just by editing the CSS and the JavaScript in these directories. And, I, and that's basically what we're going to be doing today. I think the alert is a pretty cool uh, concept, but what's even more uh, great about Worklight is that we can make our app look a bit different and style it device specific. So let's go in to the CSS file on each device and kind of make it look a bit different. So we, we did have our greeting div, so let's go ahead and make the greeting look different um, on each device. And by greeting, I mean the hello, uh, I mean the clear blade rocks part. So we're going to make this look different on Android and make it look uh, different on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and edit our greeting div. And look, we're going to do a simple thing and just change the color. So uh, whenever I think about Android, I think about green. Uh, so we're just going to make the color here green. And that's all we're going to do on that one. And then also we'll go here and edit the CSS in the iPhone. And we'll just, let's just go ahead and copy this. Save a little time. And we'll make the greeting on this one red. All right. So the clear blade rocks on the Android should be green and the clear blade rocks on the iPhone should be red. All right. So next we need to go. Also, I want to take it a step further. I want to go in and edit the JavaScript. So we can also just change the text on it too. So our function we created was called greet user. And basically all it did was alert uh, the user and say hola mundo. Uh, so let's just say hola Android. All right, and let's copy this. So we don't have to do it again. And for iPhone, let's put the same function in. And we'll just say, hola iPhone. So we've done two things. We actually went in and edited the CSS and the JavaScript so whenever we hit this Greek user, we'll see a different text message in the alert box. And also, depending on what device we, on, we are on, we'll see a different color for the clear blade rocks header. So let's go ahead and start our work light server. Okay, let's build and deploy our app. And I also like to build and deploy each platform. It just makes me more confident that things are going to go as planned. Okay, so let's go and look. at our console. So we can just go HTTP localhost. eighty eighty console. So there we go. We see that we got our alert demo app for iPhone and Android and we also have a common resource. So this is just a common website, uh, Clear Blade Rocks. That's all we see. Um, no styling applied to it. Now let's look at iPhone. It's red. So the iPhone is red, just like we thought. And Android, green, just like we thought. Ah, hello Android. So everything looks good there. And let's take a look at the iPhone. Hello iPhone in Spanish, of course. 
So you can't really see how this makes a difference. Well, I guess you can see how it makes a difference, but I want to take it a step further and preview these on the actual devices. So, and I want to do it side by side. So let's go here and run this as an Xcode project. And let's go ahead and build our Android project here too. Xcode just started. So let's get this. After it's done indexing, we'll start it up. And hopefully our Android project's taken off as well. Looks like Xcode is finished. So let's run that. So we automatically see that clear blade rocks is in red just like we planned. And as soon as the Android emulator starts up, we'll we'll be able to see clear blade rocks in green. Let's go ahead and unlock this. So here's our alert demo app. We'll start that up. Ah, so just like we thought, we have clear blade rocks in green, and we have clear blade rocks in red on the iPhone. We hit greet. We get this iPhone-specific alert. We hit greet on the Android, and we get this Android-specific alert. So we use regular JavaScript like we would do on any web page and did one alert, but it looks totally designed for each device. We, it looks just like it should for an iPhone and it looks just like it should for an Android phone. So what we did just now, uh, we kind of demoed alerts which uh, which is just a normal uh, JavaScript function but we saw how we could go in and edit the device specific directories. We saw how we could edit the device specific JavaScript and CSS to kind of make it a bit more customized for each individual device. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned how you could basically make each device look a bit different uh, from the other. All right.